Share acquisition begins now. This is where we take your game. We uh, rate it on a scale of um, one to four chairs for the does it launch performance graphics and controls. Then we maybe talk about how we feel about the game, whether we enjoyed it, and rate that on a scale from one to four chairs. This week, we're taking a look at My Brother Rabbit by Artifacts Mundy on the Spark Casual Engine. You can pick it up for about 15 bucks. Why are we doing another horror game? <laughs> because it's Spooptober, man. It's it's Halloween. It's <laughs> that time of year. It's 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 um what was it? it's 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 uh, Christmas in base eight. I don't know. Um, <laughs> in this magnificent land of make believe, a cute little rabbit wants to nurse his ill friend of the flower back to health so any spooky. way he can. Look at the spooky he must blues. Use the I mean, those butterflies terrify the fuck out of me. He must use his wits to decipher puzzles inspired by classic point-and-clicks, uncover hidden objects, and play many games to continue their adventure. Artifacts Monday was nice enough to send us some keys for this, so we're taking a look at it now. But first, how did it work on Ubuntu? The most horrifying of operatings. Not really. Um, 1804 LTS, 1700, 980 powered. Hey, man, look at it. It's brilliant. It launches. No issues. Got that covered. Performance at 1080p, 3840 by 2160, solid 60, no issues. Graphics, check it out, man. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, it's really nice hand drawn business with, you know, kind of that side of odd. You're like, there's some weird shit in here, too. So it's it's not all like happy sunshine stuff. However, I'm going to dig in a little bit on controls because this is something you can fire up in big picture and go, why the fuck doesn't my Steam controller work with this game? And the game will look at you and go, booga booga. Ooh. So tell, you to, tell you to go fuck yourself because th it don't work. And that kind of irritated me. You really have to uh, break out the gerbil if you want to play this at any distance other than directly in front of your computer. So, yeah, man, that's the thing. I could dig it and give it a solid three. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 28, 64-bit with the GTX 1080 Ti and the i7 6700K. It launches, it runs at 60 FPS at, well, the one resolution it supports. <laughs> um, speaking of which, in graphics, yeah, no options. You get full screen or you get no full screen. Um, I think the art was, well, I thought it was done in 720p. Pedro corrected me earlier today. Full screen it's actually or, done in, or full scream? Full scream? <laughs> Oh man, screams of delight. Um, yeah, so uh, apparently the art was done in 900p, which... Honestly, when you stretch it out to 31, 38, 40 by 2160, doesn't look that great. You definitely see, seems a little blocky when it's stretched out like that. But it is what it is. Control-wise, yeah, you click shit. I don't know why you'd want to play this with the controller, Ben. You're a very, very strange individual. I'll give it four cheers. Yeah, and over here on Solus, it launches, it performs at 60, regardless if you're playing full screen or in that really odd 1600 by 900 window uh hey man we've, uh, we've just learned that artifacts monday's got some fucked up monitors that's what yeah <laughs> they, they, they but, got some yeah. old dells is what they got <laughs> and apparently the resolution switching in those monitors is broken because there's not much in the way of setting resolution in this game so yeah it and the controls, well, it would be very hard to screw up uh, left click for action, right click for cancel. I so, finds a way. Yeah. <laughs> Four chairs on that. All right. How about fun? Did you enjoy clicking around, driving yourself insane, trying to find that last fucking Look at thing? This. Look at this game. This is a kaleidoscope of horrors. Look at the terrifying colors. Um, Hey. It's been a minute since we looked at something from Artifacts Monday since, uh, we're being honest, a lot of the games, they look a wee bit similar. My Brother Rabbit, on the other hand, does look a little bit different. Now, it's still a hidden object joint, so don't get too crazy with this. And disclaimer, if I had to find Waldo, that motherfucker would have starved to death by now. I'm not good at these types of things, because it's a point and click. Mix objects, you know, cryptic clues, basically you have this game. Did I mention I tend to overthink things? Because I did. We talked about that in the pre-pre-super shows. And go back and listen to that, beautiful patrons. Because I wasted an embarrassing amount of time trying to sort a puzzle. Because at no point did I ever think that it crossed my simple little reptile brain that it could be that obvious. Turned out it was 100%. And I'm going to agree with future Jordan about things blending in just a little too much at times. But that's kind of part of this genre, I guess. That's the thing. But at the end of the day, it's hidden objects. So I eventually resorted to my battle-tested click grid attack. Flawless victory on that. Um, hey, 
I know I'm an adult technically, but I was doing that same shit as a child because I come from the school of getting shit done and fuck the journey. I, I don't do side quests, so just, just beating the game is my end goal still. It's a really well journey. done game. Oh, spooky. Fuck off. Um, and you're, if you're stuck with like your own larva, and you have one of those, or like you're a Windows user, and you need something to help like develop basic motor skills and control and refinement. And like hand eye coordination. Yeah, Windows user. Mm -hmm. um, or just prob problem solving skills. My brother Rabot, Rabot, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, th it's going to get the job done. It is currently priced at, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's $14.99. That does sound high for point and click, but it is extremely well done. It is pretty to look at if you like horrifying death rabbits. So, solid three for the fun. I really, now I want this game to star Rabot. Damn it, Ven. <laughs> Like why, why, Artifacts Monday? Please make that game next. I I I I demand that you do that. Yeah. So here's here's the thing. I I I, I suffer from a, a litany of you know mental disabilities. I mean, look 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 at that. Didn't that scene with like the syringe and didn't that look like it was gonna get dark? Oh yeah. I was like, now if you close your eyes soon, you won't feel anything. No shh, shh. no screams, only dreams. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm diagnosed with a litany of uh, mental disorders, and I also suffer from that thing where you're looking for your house keys and check everywhere and you just can't find them and it's driving you insane. You spent 45 minutes and you're late for whatever you're doing, and then you realize, shit, these were in my pocket the entire time, weren't they? So I am mentally ill-equipped to deal with hidden object puzzle games. My brain is not wired for that. That said, um, this is actually pretty decent. There, there are a couple moments where it's just like, no, I'm not gonna be defeated by a game for children. I'm uh, no, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm far too old for this to beat me. And this game uh, looked you dead in the eye and said, "Hold my beer." Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Like here, 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 here's the thing. This game has an aesthetic, and it's, it's very clearly thought out. But everything looks like a fucking watercolor painting, which means that shit just blends in. And like Pedro and I were talking about this in the pre-pre super shows, and there's one of the puzzles where it's like, no, no, that w I would not have found that if I weren't just clicking errantly because that is the exact same color as the thing it was hiding in front of, and there's no outline. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Um, yeah. The that said, the the game does a decent job of like telling you, hey, this is. This is a thing that you're probably going to have to collect later, so remember where this thing is, because you're going to be looking for it in about 20 minutes or 40 minutes, depending on how long it takes you to find the other shit you're looking for. Um, there, I do have a minor gripe with the uh, the gameplay, though. Um, when you when you adopt when you inevitably adopt the click grid strat, because you know, fuck. Um, <laughs> The 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 switch area button at like the at the at the bottom left and right corners of the screen is a little sensitive at times, and sometimes you accidentally hit it while you're hunting for things and you switch back and forth, and that gets a little annoying. Also, fuck this bear! How am I supposed to think to like look under his goddamn hat? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> fuck that noise! Yeah, and I clicked on him a few times. It didn't occur to me to click on the hat portion, but anyways, um. Yeah, that I mean it's it's well it's well done. Um, for fifteen bucks, if you give this to like a child, say they will be occupied for several days. As what, what do you think about like the item combining mechanic? That's one of the, the extra like fuck you, old man, then because that reminds was, me of like Phantasmagoria. Like oh it man, was, it was a little weird at first, but you do get used to it once you realize okay, yeah, this this is a part of the game, and there, there's like things where it's like. Oh, no, this is clearly some piece of information that I'm going to need to solve another puzzle. There's actually a couple of times, too, where, like, you can just kind of brute force some of the puzzles before you're actually given the end. There, 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 there's this one thing where, like, you have to use some combination of arms to complete a circuit. And I just brute forced it and got all the items that it gives you. And then I solved another puzzle. And it's like, oh, this is the answer key for that other thing I just kind of <laughs> figured out by myself. Anyways, it's all right. Um, it is it is what it is, and I can't really fault it for it. I'll give it two chairs. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, well, 
for me, it, the one thing <laughs> I came to the realization that it's always the children-oriented games that get things right. You know, when I keep harping on about how puzzle games, the best thing that they can do is give you all the tools and just watch you fuck up over and over and over again. And, well, here it is. In this game, you're not even given the chance to attempt to resolve a puzzle until you have everything that you need. It's, um... You know, actually finding the stuff that you need, that is where the meat of the game is, because that's what Artifacts Mundi does, and it's the hidden object games. They just, uh, they just give you... It's like, okay, you need to find these things, now go out into the three or four areas that you can uh, explore, and you will find those things. And, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's what Artifacts Mundi does, and that's what you can find in this game. It's, uh, the art is very good, and like Jordan already mentioned, uh, it makes... Do you think there's, uh, like, the a position at Artifacts as, like, lead shit hider? <laughs> oh, possibly I'm, no. oh i'm sure there is like some fucking autistic guy they hired there's like listen man i know you love hiding shit so i got a job for you <laughs> yeah no it's uh the way that the art and everything else because the art is beautiful and everything looks like it fits right in which yeah like jordan was saying it makes everything very hard to find uh and the um the, the actual puzzles themselves, as a 30-something-year-old myself, they're very easy, and the sense of accomplishment is a bit lacking, but hey, there's a story there, so that's what I found myself clinging on to. I don't know, so, man. Yeah, like three chairs. One of my problems with this is, like, the same reason as watching Zootopia, just waiting for the fox to eat the rabbit. It's like, <laughs> like this rabbit's, like, all concerned about the plant, and I was like, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> well, the plan here is the projection of like the uh, rabbit owners in the real world. No, Pedro, you're saying uh, it's his sister. projection of a twisted individual. It's like, come on, get. <laughs> no, no. See, see, that's the thing. You, you likened it to Phantasmagoria. This is like the fucking unofficial Phantasmagoria three. It's the it's the first it's the killer from the first Phantasmagoria coming back. For it's revenge. frog fractions. The revenge men still yeah. know it. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's, it's, it's like the game from fucking last week. It's like, I'm waiting for the dark turn. Where is where is it? <laughs> I've, I've been trained to expect this now. Hey, All man, right. it, it's spooked over that we're, we're only doing kids games because they're horrifying. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, next, dude, oh, we should totally do Freddy Fish next week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>